It's the first book in a trilogy, and not only was it a bestseller, it's now being made into a movie. Author Rick Yancey is here now to talk about the fifth wave and how it became a worldwide phenomenon. Rick, great to talk to you today. How are you? Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Okay, so set the scene for us. You're an IRS agent writing the confessions of a tax collector, and now you're a best-selling author with three different publishing deals. How does that happen? Boy, I don't know. I wish I wish I could let everybody in on that secret. I, you know, I just I just love writing. I always have loved writing. Um, I took that job at the IRS to you know make ends meet and have some benefits and a stable job while I continued to work. And I just never let go of that dream of being a writer. I you know I the fifth wave is like all my work. I, I write the kind of books that uh, I would love to read. And since no one has written them, I guess it's up to me to write them. So that's kind of how it evolved for me going from that kind of job into what I do now. Well, it's been a remarkable success. For those who haven't read The Fifth Wave, can you give us the storyline in a nutshell? Absolutely. The Fifth Wave is the story of an alien invasion. Not the kind of alien invasion that uh, we usually see in popular culture, but the kind of Asian, uh, the kind of alien invasion that would actually happen if it ever did. So it takes place in, you know, today, like day after tomorrow. Uh, it's the story of a young girl who has lost everything, her home, her family, um, and is facing a world in which the human population is gradually, through a series of attacks or waves, uh, being wiped out. Very systematic, very uh, sneakily, uh, kind of uh, uh, an apocalyptic sort of scenario. She's lost her brother, her baby brother, the one person that she has left in the world. She loses him during the course of, uh, of the invasion, and she has to find him again. And so the fifth wave is about her journey, her quest to find her little brother against almost insurmountable odds. You were on set during the filming of the movie as a consultant. It was filmed in the South. Tell us about the stars and about what it was like being there, watching your story actually come to life on screen. Oh, it was absolutely surreal and and fantastic and unbelievably exciting and also nerve-wracking and in fact you know day after day being there on the set with the stars uh, Chloe Grace Moretz uh, stars in the film as, as Cassie the young woman in the story um, a newcomer named Alex Rowe uh, plays uh, the mysterious Evan Walker who she encounters in her quest to find her brother um, in fact it was so exciting I thought you know wouldn't it be cool if fans of the book could have sort of like an inner doorway or access to to the movie and the whole world of the fifth wave that was you know kind of opening up throughout the book series so if they come to my website rickancy.com or through my twitter or facebook accounts i'm going to be posting stuff as sort of a a total immersion experience into the world of the fifth wave backstage stuff from the movie special extras that they can get um, uh, kind of a, a peek behind the scenes of how a story goes from a book trilogy uh, to the big screen. That's really cool. Fifth Wave is out in paperback. Infinite Sea is out. You're currently writing the third book. Can you give us any hints as to what that's going to offer the fans? Yes, the third and final book of the series takes all these strands that are established in the first book. You know, the, the books are told from multiple points of view from people who are going through this struggle against this implacable alien force and the last book takes all these strands and starts to bring them all together for one climactic confrontation with um, with the enemy it sounds fascinating Rick so nice to talk to you today thanks for being with us great talking to you thanks all right you can find out more online at rickyancey.com